So for someone, if, if you've already gone through, you've built your first computer, a couple computers, but you want to get something a little bit, you know, nicer looking, a little more performance out of it, and you really want to overclock it, that's where custom loop water cooling comes into. Anything you run at a lower temperature is obviously going to perform better and last longer but it's also very, very quiet. So if you are a streamer, you are a gamer, and you have your rig next to you, you don't have to worry about that noise getting into your stream or anything like that. Gino Quarter Base is really the universal size of fittings used on everything. All of our products feature it. So if you get a kit, like an X360 kit, like the machine featured behind me here, it comes with soft tubing, but let's say you want to switch it out, you want to go hard tube, you want to try doing the bends yourself, all the fittings are still Gina Quarter Thread, even though the diameter itself may change. Yeah, I would say stay with soft tubing if you plan on upgrading. It's definitely a lot easier. You have a little bit more give. Hard tubing is everything is specifically bent to your motherboard. So if you, even if you stay with the same socket and you switch a motherboard, not all PCBs have the socket in the exact same position. So it could shift over half inch, shift down half inch, and you would have to do those runs all over again. There's different tubing sizes for different looks. Obviously, they're smaller. So it really depends on what you want. Do you want to see a lot more of the coolant? Do you want to see a little bit thinner? The same thing can be said with hard tubes. We offer 12 millimeter and 16. The, the bigger tubes obviously show a little bit more of the coolant. Yeah, your fittings need to match the tube, whether it's hard or soft. Uh, they do have to be compatible. Otherwise, you can have some leak issues or just not fit at all. Yeah, so the general rule of thumb is uh, 120 millimeter per component. Uh, obviously, the more surface area you have in any water cooling situation, the better. So if you can fit more radiators in there, it'll definitely help your case and allow you to upgrade into future as well. So on, on the processor side, you'll definitely see lower temperatures on the CPU itself. Um, you can obviously overclock a little bit to get more performance out of that processor, especially if it's a K-series. Um, the biggest benefit is gonna be on the graphics card side. Uh, graphics cards usually thermal throttle themselves. Uh, they all feature boost clocks from you know NVIDIA, AMD. Like most water cooling solutions usually stay between 40 and 50 degrees on the graphics card, which is very, very low for a graphics card to, to run at. It's gonna allow that card to stay at a higher boost clock since it's not gonna have any of that thermal throttling process occur. But obviously the, the big thing people worry about is leaking. Um, as long as you follow our directions, take your time doing it. We don't recommend rushing water cooling. And when you rush anything, you always have the risk of a higher failure rate. So just take your time with it. Uh, with all of our fittings, we do offer an Allen key. The actual internal design of the fitting features the Allen key perfectly. So you can tighten that down to make sure you get a perfect O-ring seal. So you won't have any leaking coming from the fittings. Uh, if you're doing soft tube, just make sure that tube actually is down as far as it can on the barb. Put your top on, just tighten it down. It's gonna compress itself, so you won't have any issues there. And if you just follow that, then really just use the tools we provide, you'll be fine. Uh, we do recommend hand tightening with all of our tools. If you use a drill bit, it can probably a little bit too much pressure and could actually crack some of the plexi or things like that. Pumps now are very, very powerful. Um, so it's really just up to the user, really how you want your build to look. But you can easily just tie it all into one system with a D5 pump and be perfectly fine. So it could be overwhelming, you know, all the different size fittings, all the different water blocks, things like that that we offer. So the great place to start, and we actually have them available on Newegg now, is our kits. We have a number of different kits from our Extreme series. If you do want extreme performance, you're an overclocker, we have our Extreme 360 kit, which is actually featured in the system right behind me here. Uh, we have our L series, which are kind of our middle of the road kits. Then we have our S series, all in copper, which are our slim kits, which feature 28 millimeter radiators. So if you have like a mid tower case, you don't have to worry about your radiator being too thick with your fans on, that's gonna hit your motherboard or anything like that. Um, we also have our newest product line, which is our fluid gaming kits. Those kits are aluminum based, so cost is much, much reduced. And we do offer that in a 120, 240, and 240 millimeter with graphics card variant. Whatever you're looking at for your case, whatever your budget is, you definitely have an option for you. And the kits are all expandable. The fluid gaming kits are pretty limited at this point to just the fluid gaming kits themselves. But if you buy one of our copper kits, uh, you can easily add a graphics card. You simply just buy a compatible block for your graphics card that we sell, two additional fittings and some tube and you can easily add it into your loop and not have any issues at all. So it's definitely a system that can grow with you, or let's say you use your kit for a year or so and you wanna go into hard tubing. All you have to do is simply buy the tube and new fittings. All your blocks are gonna be compatible still. You don't have to replace anything inside of those kits. EK's on the top in terms of engineering on water blocks. 
Just because of the R&D design and the work that goes into those, our R&D engineers spend countless hours and time really making a specific solution to each card. That's why we offer you know, reference card water blocks as well as partner cards like the MSI TF6 water blocks and the EVGA for the win water blocks that are specific to those models to fit it perfectly, to give you the most performance out of it and allow you to have the best water cooling solution for that card. Very simple process to us. It's make the best product we can and offer the best customer service we can. Every tech enthusiast, especially in North America, has known Newegg their whole life. And a lot of customers, you know, trust Newegg. They buy really everything for the computer from Newegg. So it just becomes that much easier for a customer to obtain. Uh, we're excited for the future and to have, you know, our full portfolio on Newegg in the future.